Hello and welcome back. I am Lord Ravenwork. This is Civilization Beyond Earth as the African Union episode. I don't remember what episode I was on. And we need to choose a new technology. Also, we're at war. I, I don't know how I remembered I needed to pick a new technology, but forgot about the war. That's kind of scary. And I'm certain he is well prepared for war, too, which is going to make this difficult. I don't think we're going to be capable of fighting it. I would love to help out my allies here, but it doesn't seem particularly likely. Oh god, I am tense. It wasn't even on my mind when I started up the episode, but... God. And after what happened in the Civ 5 series... Oh wait, that hasn't been uploaded yet. Okay, let's just change the subject. You know, no spoilers. Um... I guess so. Um... Let's see, what, what technology do we want, though? Oh, fuck, we're at war. We should go for something war-related. Um... And I don't know the tech web too well, considering it's a web and not a tech tree. Um, supremacy, affinity, and tell you what, let's let's just go power systems for now. Then invest a bit in alien biology, and uh, and yeah, let that tick for a little while. Um, you should be building a plantation. Yes. God, this is, this is bad. You're gonna be alright up there, Hutama? Uh, I, I, I can't help out in this war. I'll be a part of it. I'll, I'll provide you your, your full moral support. I do not have anything to provide you. Although I can probably come by later and, and liberate your shit. And then we will be best friends forever. You and your weird random sentences that don't make very much sense and... Your, all your greediness and stuff like that. What is this you're building? An auto plant? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, you're one turn away and it adds production and that's good. We need more production because now we're going to need to build a bunch of soldiers. And just kind of send them into to fuck up the, uh... The Russians. Even though we can't... We can't do that. <laughs> well, I think I have just discovered who my arch-nemesis for this series is gonna be. It's gonna be the Russians, led by, um... Vadim Kozlov. I should remember that, but I haven't actually played this game in a while. Honestly, I've gotten to the point where now I can only kinda get around to playing it when I'm recording. Where I, I kinda force myself to play it so I can get up the timely episode every week. So yeah, uh, let's let's put another um, another marine on the queue. Get you know as as many uh, as many units as possible pumped out. We're we're going to uh, we're going to need to respond to 
this in force. What is this? You want a peace treaty? Right, because I'm not the one he wants to be at war with. And unfortunately... I mean, it's good to know that he's willing to... Um, willing to uh, negotiate peace with me. A, a white peace, too. So that's good. But I think I'm going to stick in this war a bit longer because I am producing military units and I would like to help out my friend. Because if you just abandon your, your friends in times of need then you know what kind of fucking friend are you? I'll tell you what kind of friend you are. A terrible one. Uh, says the man who is doing absolutely nothing to help out his friend who is in trouble. Oh. They've made peace. Okay, well then I, 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 I feel like I can make peace. I'm fine with a white peace. You sure you're not going to give me anything? Um, okay. I think I'm just going to go with a white peace. I see. Okay. Definitely regretting not taking the peace earlier. I don't blame you, Hutama, but I am still pretty pissed at the, the outcome of this. But he's not going to be able to conquest me, stupid Vadim. Okay, these aliens are causing trouble. I shouldn't attack them, though. But they're causing me trouble. Uh, fuck it. What can they really do to me anyways? I was able to completely wipe them out and take only 3% damage in the process. Total wipe took only 3% damage. Yeah, good luck with that. Artificial power source is a myth. An ecosystem powers itself. When humanity learns to live in harmony with its surroundings, we will reap the same benefits of power. Makes sense. Progress begins with someone saying, there has to be a better way to do this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like to say, if something is not mutually beneficial, then it's not beneficial. So, do we want to give our armor units extra damage against fortified enemies or extra damage when flanking? I'm thinking fortified units because these guys move a lot faster than our regular ground troops. Which would make them less likely to be in a position where they'd be flanking and more likely to be able to move into break a fortified enemy. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, wipe them out. Extra damage. Actually get ranged combat strength, even though this isn't a ranged unit, but I, I, I think just all units get that, so... And it also adds regular combat strength too, so it, it's, it's really not that strange. What's ours is yours. For a price. Thank you. 
Oh, sorry, I, I cut you off. Yeah. So, now we're in the, the war all by ourselves. And to top that off, we, uh... We also seriously need to, uh... To get ourselves a new city going. Okay. Looks like the aliens are backing off. We're not gonna pursue them. Let's just, oh my god, what the hell is happening to Kia Gungan? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh my god, the Indians are attacking my trade partner. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to put an end to that. Even if it means, you know, more war. Because that's not an okay thing to do. That's not an okay thing to do, KP. I'm trading with them. There is nothing more important to me than the things that give me money. And you stay off of my lawn. Get off of my lawn, kids! You stupid kids. I don't care if it used to be your lawn, it's my lawn now. Oh, and the and the Brazilians are attacking it too. What the hell is that about? Also, Paul Australia has tack jets. I noticed that before, but didn't comment on it because I don't know why. I should get some tack jets. 